Good evening, everyone. I'm Anthony Carter. I hope you all had a great week and even a better weekend so far. Let's go ahead and jump right into our weather headlines. For the most part tonight, we're mostly cloudy. We are keeping a close eye on a chance of rain and some snow in certain areas, maybe even a little bit of both in other areas. So we're looking at that in later part later part tonight going into early Sunday morning. Also keeping a close eye this weekend on freezing overnight temperatures. We're looking at single digits, especially east of the Cascades, and certainly some of those temperatures are triggering a few alerts in our region. Get into that in just a sec. But for the most part, looking ahead to much of next week, mostly Sunday, not really seeing any chance of precipitation, at least in the first half of the week. We'll start to see that pick up in the later half of next week. Now again, let's break down this wind chill advisory. So again, this will be in effect Sunday night. So we're looking at cold wind chills as low as 25 degrees. So frostbite is possible if you are outside for a long period of time and you have any exposed skin. So just something to keep in mind about. Do want to layer up. So again, this wind chill advisory is, will be in effect Sunday evening into early Monday morning. So that includes Klamath Lake in the eastern parts of Jackson County and even parts of Modoc County. Now also for the coast, a freeze watch will also be in effect. Again, this is for the Southern Oregon coast. We're looking at temperatures as low as 26 degrees conditions can likely uh, affect any sensitive vegetation. It could kill crops as well as affect any outdoor plumbing. It could freeze. So just a, probably a good time now if you want to cover any outdoor vegetation that you may have. Now is probably the best time to do so. So just something to keep in mind about. Now speaking of the coast, overnight lows tonight are expected to drop to some freezing temperatures. 31 over in North Bend. Also keeping a close eye on a chance of rain. Breezy in Crescent City with an overnight low of 37. Now tomorrow do expect some frost early but for the most part, sunny, high of 52 in Crescent City, 40s, otherwise up from Brookings all the way up into North Bend. Now in our west side valleys, mostly cloudy tonight. Our overnight lows are staying around the 20s and in the 30s, 30 over in Cave Junction. Chance of rain and snow overnight tonight going into tomorrow. But for the most part, on your Sunday, our highs are staying around the 30s and in the 40s, 42, the high over in Grants Pass. Now east of the Cascades, snow is likely, especially up in the Shamo area, also going to be windy over by Crater Lake. Our, our overnight lows expected to be within uh, single digits and even into the teens in certain areas. Tomorrow, sunny, but still going to be cold. We're looking at a high of 26 over in Klamath Falls, 21 over in Lakeview. Now, taking a look at our seven-day forecast for the Rogue Valley, mostly sunshine going through Monday. Then we start to see a lot more cloudier conditions from Tuesday all the way through next weekend, but our highs are starting out within the 40s, but starting to warm up into midweek, looking up into the 50s. Then we start to see our next chance of rain, not until Friday. Overnight lows also still cold. We're in the 20s in the Klamath Basin. Our highs are staying around the 20s and in the 30s, also in the 40s. Overnight lows are around single digits and in the teens, partly cloudy from Tuesday all the way through Saturday. In Northern California, almost the same situation, except our highs are in the mid to upper 30s, 47 to high on Tuesday, 51 by Wednesday. Overnight lows are staying around the teens and in the 20s. And for the coast, mostly sunny this week with our, our next week, I should say, and then our highs are staying around the 40s and in the 50s, our overnight lows in the 20s and in the 30s.